EIGRP stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. EIGRP is a Cisco protocol that runs on Cisco routers, but now it is also used for other vendors also because EIGRP now is open vendor protocol. EIGRP <coughs> EIGRP has a number of features that make it that make it especially useful within large and complex networks. It is a L3 protocol and it have 88 as a protocol number. Actually, EIGRP is a classless distance vector protocol that uses the concept of autonomous system to describe a set of continuous routers that run the same routing protocol and share same routing information which is also includes the subnet mask in its router update. It means EIGRP sends subnet mask information in its updates. This is a very big deal because by advertising subnet information, this protocol enables us to use VLSM. EIGRP is sometimes referred to as a hybrid routing protocol or an advanced distance vector protocol because it has characteristics of both distance vector and some state link protocols also. So we can say EIGRP is a combination of distance vector, distance vector protocols and link state protocols. For example, EIGRP does not send link state packets like OSPF does. Instead, it, it sends traditional distance vector updates that includes information about networks plus the cost of reaching them from the perspective of the advertising router. EIGRP has link state characteristics also. It synchronized network topology information between neighbors and startup and then send specific updates only. As RIP protocol have 15 hop count or maximum hop count, EIGRP has a default 100 hop counts with the maximum number of 255. It means EIGRP have 100 as a default, but we can change it from 0 to 255. But don't confuse because EIGRP does not rely on hope count or EIGRP does not use hope count as a metric. In EIGRP, speed, hope count refers to how many routers an EIGRP route updates packets can go through before it will be discarded, which limits the size of autonomous system. It means in EIGRP, 255 is a maximum number of routers we can use. After the two, 255 routers, the update packet is discarded.
some features of EIGIP are it support IPv4 and IPv6 also. It can we can use classless network in EIGIP. It also supports VLSM or you can say CIDR values. It also support summarization. It also support discontinuous networks. It communicate via RTP that is reliable transport protocol. Reliable transport protocol. This protocol is used is in EIGRP. EIGRP uses dual algorithm for selecting best path. Dual stands for diffusing update algorithm. And the, and the default multicast address for EIGRP is 224.0.0.10. This is default multicast address. This multicast address is used by Ethernet channels or you can say multi-access cables. In serial cables or unicasting, in serial cables, EIGRP send unicast packets. And on Ethernet links, it use this multicast address. Now we are, we are discussing about neighbor discovery. In EIGRP. Before EIGRP routes can exchange routes with each other, they must become neighbors. And there are three conditions that must be met before this can happen. What are the what are these three conditions? Before that, we can we will use an example to relate that. This is router one and this is router two. When we apply EIGRP on this interface and we apply EIGRP on this interface. These interfaces are connected via Ethernet cable. This router send hello from hello packets from this interface and this router sends hello packets from this interface. interface. In this hello packets, there are three things or you can say three parameters. The first parameter is AS number. The second one is metric. And the third one is authentication. We configure AS number on each router. EIGRP have a matrix that is composite matrix. How we can change or what is composite matrix, we are discuss about it later in this video. And we, could, we can configure authentication also. These three things are sent in hellos by this router also and by this router also. 
this halo of R1 is received by R2 and then R2 open R1's halo and check AS number, metric and authentication. If these three things are match, then R2 becomes neighbor of R1. And R2's hello I hello is received by R1. R1 check these three things in this hello, R2's hello. If these three things are match, then R1 and R2 become neighbors. Actually, the working is like that. This is R1. This is R2. R1 send an init packet. Then R2 sends acknowledgement of this init packet plus its own init packet. Init means initialization packet. Then R2 sends acknowledgement for this in a packet. This is a process of three-way handshaking. This is three-way handshaking. By this, R1 and R2 routes can exchange. But AIGRP routers that belongs to different AS does not autom automatically share routing information and they therefore don't become neighbors. For example, this R1 sends 2 as a AS number and this R2 sends 3 as a AS number. This packet received by R1. R1 checks in R2's hello, the AS is 3. It means this is not made match by my AS, so this router is not become neighbor. Hello, <coughs> hello packets are between hello packets between EIGIP routers are set to 5 seconds by default. It means the hello time is 5 seconds by default. Another time or you can say another timer that's related to the hello timer is hold timer. The hold timer determines the amount of time a router is willing to wait to get a hello from a neighbor before declaring it dead. Once a neighbor is declared dead, it removes from the neighbor table and all router, all routes that depends upon it are recalculated. The whole timer is how long the router will tell other to wait before they can declare it dead. For example, this is R1, this is R2, its hold time is 10 seconds. For example, its hold time is 15 seconds. The first thing is there, there is a no compulsory or or the, there is no mandatory thing that the whole time and hello time are same for both routers like OSPF. OSPF needs hello and whole time are same for both routers but in EIGRP this is not a condition. R1 and R2 can have different whole timers. For example, R1 have 10 seconds whole time and R2 have 15 seconds whole time. It means R1 says to R2, R1 says to R2 that wait 
10 second for my hello it means r2 wait 10 seconds for r1's hello if in between 10 second r2 does not send hello packet or r2 not receives r1's hello for 10 seconds then r2 declared this router or this neighbor as dead same r2s have 15 second as a whole timer it means r2 says to r1 wait 15 seconds for my hello it means r1 wait for 15 seconds for r2's hello if r1 does not receive r2's hello for 15 seconds then r1 declare r2 as a dead and the all all other networks route are recalculated this means that the whole timer or neighbor neighboring router does not need to match because they only tell the others how long to wait